Hi there, this is Elon from MetroBoard, and today I wanted to show you the inside of the lithium battery pack used inside the MetroBoard electric skateboard. So I've pulled away the shrink wrap here so you can see what's inside. This is our 20 mile battery pack, and it's basically a 36 volt, 8.8 .8 amp hour battery pack. It's got four cells in parallel, one, two, three, four, and then 10 in series. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that adds up to a 36 volt battery pack because each cell is normally about 3.6 volts. Um, and I want to show you some of the components inside here in addition to the cells. So you can see the battery management system, which is this little circuit board right here. And the purpose of this circuit board is to protect the cells from over discharge, overcharge, and overcurrent, and sometimes some additional features like over temperature as well. Um, and the way that it does that is it basically has a voltage tap into each of the 10 cells in series. So if you turn the pack on the side here, you can kind of see this. Uh, so there's like a wire soldered to each of the 10 cells in series. There you can see it right there. And that wire gets routed um, to the BMS, which is over here. So you have basically 10 wires that are measuring the voltages of each of the 10 cells. And if any of those volt, any of those cell voltages drops below two and a half volts during discharge, the, the pack, the BMS will basically cut off discharge. Um, and the way that it does that is with these four MOSFETs right here. There's four MOSFETs that are connected in parallel. And the purpose of these is basically to cut off discharge when either there's a cell under voltage or the other scenario that could typically do that is, is a, a short circuit condition or a overcurrent condition, uh, both of which, which will also cut off the discharge. Now there's also that same protection when charging. There's actually only one MOSFET for charging because the charging current isn't as high typically when you're charging it versus discharge. So you don't need quite as many of them in parallel to, uh, to act as a switch. Um, and that does the same function, except that in the case of charging, if any of the cell voltages goes above 4.2 volts, it will uh, cut off a uh, charge as well to protect the cells from damage. Um, the other function that the BMS does is it's, it has what's called a cell balancing feature and what that does is after the pack gets fully charged it will basically um, over any cell that is a little bit lower than 4.2 volts will be topped off one by one um, to kind of bring it up to the normal 4.2 volts and that's another feature that the BMS provides so that over time if the cells get out of balance the uh, BMS will be able to fix that by topping off any of the, the weaker cells in the pack. And that's the basic anatomy of a lithium battery pack used inside the Metro Board electric skateboard.